Hello, beautiful people. Thank you for tuning in on this Thursday, this lovely hot Thursday. Well, right now it's hot here. I don't know where you're at, but it's hot. And you know what? Before I talk about anything else, and I'm just going to talk about whatever kind of comes to my mind. So a little of this, a little bit of that. I'm going to do my introduction. Sprinkle, 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 a sparkle, 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 a bunch of pizzazz and all that jazz. Woo! <laughs> all right. Yes, today is Thursday. Um, I know I said I was going to do it on Friday. There's a reason, always a reason for my method of madness. Um, I was just thinking that I have a lot I need to do on Friday, and um, I'm already dressed. You know, I'm already dressed the way I, I like to be dressed for doing videos. Um, I did go to work today, so this is how I went to work. Um, and um, so I felt like, you know, this would be a good time because I'm, you know, I'm just like relaxing right now. And I kind of like doing these when I'm like feeling relaxed and just, I don't know, sometimes I do speak about things that, that, are heavy but yet I don't know I don't know how to explain it but I'm still relaxed <laughs> well for the most part okay so anyways I do want to share this um, I did my monologue today a monologue is where you because um, I'm in theater to you that don't know um, so today I did uh, my monologue and you're supposed to choose something that you can make your audience feel you know you're supposed to put your feelings into it you're supposed to bring yourself to it pour yourself so make them feel also well i originally wasn't happy about that because everything that that i feel uh, what i can do to make everyone else feel is like too emotional for me but i was like all right I chose, um, this is not just that I chose it today, it's been something that I've, we've been working on, right? And I chose to do um, a scene about my grandma, about her passing. And then this was a um, thought given to me uh, on last Thursday. Um, he said to me, this guy named Israel, he said to me, well, if he wanted, because I was like, I don't think I'm going to keep my grandma into it. I just, I, I just don't think I'm going to. He said, well, if you want to keep your grandma into it, just like pretend um, it's a letter. And so what I did, I don't know if you guys know Rachel, Rachel, Rachel Patton, Patton, um, fight song. I uh, did, I did the lyrics to that, but I made the, some lyrics where it was like, I changed it because it's a letter from my grandma, right? Um, so the beginning of, uh, she says, Lydia. I see you like um, a small boat on the ocean making big waves or wait making big waves put into okay I had a letter but I, of course I didn't read it to like word for word because otherwise it wouldn't be that good but um, anyway and then there was at the end I put my own story in it a story that I had heard about a little hummingbird putting out a fire a village and uh, all the larger animals were just watching the little hummingbird put her little drop of water on the village going to the pond and putting her drop like an elephant was watching cheetah was watching and they all just stood by and watched the little hummingbird go back and forth back and forth put her little drop and um so i told that story and i, I put it like how i tied it in to my grandma telling me well, go and be that little hummingbird. So anyways, I finished. I did that today. And yes, of course, I was crying, but not uncontrollably. Un uncontrollably. Uh, did I still say that correctly? So, but that was all part of it, you know, where I could talk, but keeping back the tears. And that was all part of it. But you know, there was tears still coming. And, um... So at the end, I finished my letter, and it's all, it's all, I was, took my time, 
took my time into going into her house pretending right? I'm into her house and I find her purse I open it and then I find that there was a letter that she was planning on to mail me so I read it and um, I gotta tell Israel thank you again for for that idea because if it wasn't for that idea I, I wouldn't have been able to pull it off like I did and it was great because I didn't have to memorize all my lines like everyone else had to they all struggled um, during the filming of it so that helped me but like I said I didn't read it word for word just like looking at it and then um, so anyway um, oh yeah this is what made me feel pretty good that I knew that I had got to my audience which is a class right um, that once the, the instructor said um, cut then I heard one person in the front, I heard him go, oh. <laughs> so that means, <laughs> well, to me, I took it like, okay, I did good, right? So anyways, we're going to see it. Um, he's going to play it back to us on Tuesday, and I'll be able to see um, how I did. And the whole class will be able to see how, how they did. Anyways, I'm just glad to have that over with so I can enjoy the weekend. I don't have to think about, oh my gosh, I'm going to go on Tuesday and do it. Anyway, um, enough about that. <sighs> okay, there is, um, so I have the heavy of the theater, right? Which was heavy, but not now, because I got that scene over with. And then I come home and I'm st studying my, um, my class, which is intro into, um, intro into ethnics, right? And check this out. Check this out, guys. I can't believe it, but here it is. The book. All right, it's in the book. So, do you see that? It's showing. It's showing. What is it showing? Can you see that, guys? I'm hoping that you were able to see that. Um, if you couldn't, if it was all just like black blur. Um, what it was showing is that it's Trump supporters, and this is in the section where it's talking about racism. Um, wow. I think for most of my viewers, I think that you knew that. Um, I mean, I've always thought it myself and it's, it's pretty obvious to most of us that he is um, which, in retrospect, it's a bully, right? Um, and he just has big money to be one. The other thing that I found interesting is that something I learned um, was that there's actually what's called a white culture. Um, and that you guys are hearing me say this and you happen to be white you're like what um and you might be getting a bit offended i'm not saying it for you to get offended i'm just saying it's because what i'm learning but why the the folks that are white that view things the way they view is because it's the book actually describes it this way it's like a fish that's that needs water well it needs water to live it doesn't know that it needs the water it didn't even know it was in water because until it got out of water I was like oh wow I need water because when you're um, my daughter getting toilet paper anyway so when you're in this way of thinking it it's like you're not even aware that you're doing it it's just, it just is this how things are it's just like it's just the way things are and Anyways, these are scientists that have studied this, Soci sociologists that have studied the way things are from the past, present, um, and they study how things are right now, which is present, right? Um, people's attitudes, behaviors, they do this heavy and depth study um, of people. And the book really he does a good job at talking about it. And of course, I'm not the book. I and this is not my area of speaking, so I don't I don't have the smoothness of it. But if you would like to get the book, it's by um, Vincent. Can you see that Vincent and Polaro, I believe. 
Anyways, it's called Strangers to the Shores. It's really good. It's 12th edition. Um, it is really good. And there's quite a bit of reading to it. And the videos that she's been showing us, um, there was one video that she showed us and it was just about how blacks, Hispanics, how they get, um, what's it called when the cops pull you over? Um, racial, uh, racial profiling? Ra I think that's what it is. I'm, I'm learning about that right now as well. Um, and it just showed how they did that and they get pulled over and it was just talking, they weren't, they were just saying what they need to do. Like you have to have, have your hands on 10 and 2, you don't do any sudden movements. It's just like something that's taught to you. Um, and I've actually had to do that with my son. Um, even before me learning about all this, I just told him, look, if you get pulled over, this is what you need to do. Just let them see your hands, know your hands. Um, because over here where I live, all the time, no matter his high school that he went to, all the time I thought he was black. Um, not that he looks black. I mean, if you, it's just that he has the, the Latino look, but he has curly hair, um, which a lot of Latinos have curly hair, but I guess people over here don't know that. Um, and that's okay. That's all right. <sighs> anyway, um, the class has, it's, it's been sad, um, but it's what I live in. It's what we live in. It's the world we live in. And I can't change anybody. I can't change anybody. Does it make me fearful for my children? Yeah, because a lot of them do have the 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 heavy look of Hispanic, which in the world we live in, you do get treated differently. And their last name, just learning about how all those things affects, like if you wanna go buy a house, or if you wanna go get a job. That I just read also in the book, that um, in the NFL, most of the head football coaches are white. And there was one coach, in 2016, I believe it was, one Hispanic football coach. Um, and then there was only a small amount, I think it was 18 out of 2,000 Hispanic football players. I, I read that to my son. That's probably why I know um, that pretty good. He's all, yeah, mom, but it just, that's, just makes me want to fight for it all the more. And that's right. That's good. That's good. Anyways, I'm sorry to impress you. You know what? Let's go and let's make a difference. Let's put our little drop of water because that's all we have the control to do. Put our little drop of water on the fire. That's right. All right. You go fight for your right. Yeah, not the party. <laughs> All right. Be well. Have a great weekend. Uh, today is 4th of July weekend. So enjoy your 4th of July. I'm not going to get into um, 4th of July at all. No, I'm just going to tell you to enjoy yourself. Um, and there's no reason why you shouldn't. Anyway, I love you. I'll be busy doing homework. Um, so enjoy yourself. Beautiful people, thank you for viewing. Bye.